All right, everybody. So in today's video, we're going to create a working alarm clock using Python. For this project, we will need the following imports. We will import time. We'll be updating our clock every second. The time module is going to help us with that as well as import date time. The date time module allows us to work with string representations of a time. In my opinion, the easiest way to work with sound effects is to actually use Pygame. So we will import Pygame. Now you may need to download the Pygame package. Here I'm getting a message that there's no module named Pygame. There might be a link to install it even too. One way in which you can download the Pygame package is to open up a terminal, then use pip. Pip is Python's package manager. Pip install Pygame. All right, we have our three imports. Let's create a function to set alarm. We have one parameter, an alarm time. And for now, I'll write pass. Our alarm time parameter is going to be a string representation of a time in military time. I would like to start this program if I am running my main Python file directly. I can add the following if statement. If dunder name is equal to a string of dunder main. If we are running this main Python file directly, then we will set the alarm. But first we have to prompt the user what they would like to set the alarm to. So we will define a variable of alarm time equals ask for some user input using the input function. We will prompt the user to enter the alarm time and give a format hours, minutes, and seconds. Again, this is going to be in military time. Once we have our alarm time, we will call the set alarm function and pass in our alarm time. All right, we are now within the set alarm function. When we call this function, let's print the following. I'll use an F string. Alarm set for, then include the alarm time. You will need an MP3 file to work with. If you don't have one available, here's one recommendation. You could use YouTube's audio library and then search for sound effects or some music. These audio files are only allowed for non-commercial use outside of YouTube. So you can search for a song or some sound effects, find one that you like and download it. Once you find a song that you like, move it to your project folder. Now I will create a variable of sound file equals. This will be a relative or absolute file path. My MP3 file is right next to my main Python file. I only need to list the file name. I named mine my music and this is an mp3 file. I'm going to perform a test run. We're not going to play our sound quite yet. We do have this output that displays that says hello from the Pygame community. Let's say I set my alarm to 9 a.m. Then enter alarm set for 9 a.m. If you would like to suppress this output for Pygame, we can navigate to our virtual environment, go to library, Pygame, underneath this file named dunder init. Let's scroll all the way to the bottom. And we should have this if statement. We display the version of Pygame we're using and a print statement of hello from the Pygame community. We could comment this out or even just delete it. That is the most simple solution. So we shouldn't get that message anymore. We're going to create a boolean variable of is running. Is our alarm clock running? I will set that to be true. While is running, while this is true, we will continue the alarm clock. We need to get the current time. Current time equals, we will access the date time module, access the class of date time. Call the now method to get the time and date right now. 
we could method chain the string format method strf time. I would like the hours, minutes, and seconds, but not the date. So we will type percent %h colon, let me zoom out a little, percent %m for minutes, and percent %s for seconds. We're getting the hours, minutes, and seconds of the date and time right now and storing it within this variable of current time. Then I'm going to print the current time. We'll perform a test run. However, currently we're within an infinite loop. At the end of the while loop, I'll set is running to be false. Okay, enter the alarm time. Let's say 10 a.m. Alarm set for 10 a.m. And the time for me right now is 9.42 and 16 seconds. We'll get rid of this line where we set is running to be false. Instead, I'm going to access the time module and call the sleep method. We will pass in a number of seconds to sleep. So one second. I'll set the alarm to be 10 a.m. Now the time should update every second, which it is. However, when the current time is equal to the alarm time, we have to trigger the alarm. So after printing the current time, we will write an if statement to check if the current time is equal to the alarm time. If this is true, then let's print the following. Wake up. And I'll add an emoji, because it's silly. Once our alarm triggers, we will set is running to be false within this if statement. Let's do a test run. We're not going to play the sound quite yet. I will set the alarm to 945. And then I'll come back a little bit later. All right. Once the current time matches the alarm time, we print wake up and set is running to be false to exit the while loop, and then subsequently exiting the program. Now we need to play an mp3 file. We will access our package of Pygame, access the module of Mixer. So Mixer is a module for loading and playing sounds, but we have to initialize it. But we're going to initialize it with init to initialize. The initialize method is another way to call the constructor. We can pass in some keyword arguments for the frequency, size, channels, buffer, all that, but that might be a little too complicated for us at this level. We'll use the default settings by not passing in anything. The next step is to load our sound file, access the package of Pygame, access the module of Mixer, access the module of Music, then call the load method. We will load our sound file. Our sound file contains the file path to our mp3 file. Once we load our music, we have to play it. pygame.mixer.music call the play method. Our mp3 file is only going to play for a brief second. I'll demonstrate that. I will set the alarm to 949 and just give it a few seconds. Our sound file stops playing when the program terminates. What we need to do next is continue playing our sound file while that sound file is busy. We will add a while loop. While access pygame dot mixer dot music call the get busy method this returns a boolean if our song is busy if it's still playing then we will call the time modules sleep method and sleep for one second once the song finishes or we terminate the program prematurely the sound file will no longer be busy so this should be the finished product. Let's test it. I will set the alarm for 952. 
and we just have to give it some time.